in this video i will be showing you guys how you can cover up or hide the knots on your lace closure or lace frontal without bleaching this easy tutorial will definitely show you how you can make your lace closure or your lace frontal look like real scalp now i use this method each and every time i wear a closure or a frontal so today you will definitely be learning how to get rid of those pesky black dots or black knots on your closure and frontal so stay tuned I'm Shay Amour and owner of Amour Wigs and before I get into tutorial I wanted to let you guys know the hair that I will be using or the wig I will be using to cover up or fix the knots on my frontal. Now this hair is from stallionlimbs.com and they went ahead and sent me their body wave texture. I have in three bundles as well as a lace frontal. The three bundles lengths are 22 22 24 and I have a 20 inch lace frontal now I have created a custom lace frontal wig as you guys can see I've added highlights in the front of my wig as well and then how I got these curls is I used some flexi rods and I set it overnight and these are the curls that I've got that I got with this hair okay so we're gonna first start off with the products that you need what i am using is some suave holding spray my foundation as well as my face powder that matches closely to my skin complexion and then i'm also using a dense makeup brush and a very small makeup brush now i have already customized my lace frontal but i wanted to show you guys exactly how it looks with the black knots um it kind of looks you know a little bit off and that's the reason why i wanted to show you guys how you can cover up those black knots and just make your uh, lace frontal or lace closure look very natural looking so the first thing that you want to do is turn your wig unit inside out and because you want your the lace to be exposed so you can go ahead and apply either the face powder or foundation onto the lace what I'm going to show you is two ways which is first I'll show you exactly how you can use your face powder to cover up the black knots so I'm going in with, uh, I believe it was black opal face powder in my skin complexion. Now, after I uh, apply the face powder, I go in with my holding spray. Now, the other method that you can do if you do not want to apply face powder, you can definitely go in and apply uh, foundation. You can even apply concealer, but I know concealers are just a little bit thick. But uh, if you were to use like LA Pro concealer, which is liquid, that would definitely work as well but i'm going in with my black radiance foundation and i'm just applying a little bit onto my makeup brush and then i'm lightly putting on the lace frontal or the lace of the lace frontal and i'm just making sure that everything is covered and then after i cover up the lace with my foundation i go in with the uh, holding spray once again and spray it on and just you want to make sure that the holding spray sits on the uh, lace for a few minutes so I wanted to give you guys a closer look on how the uh, lace looks on the lace frontal after I applied the face powder and the foundation uh, you can do either or or you can do both It's totally up to you but as you guys can see you can see that it's very noticeable how the black knots is not there anymore versus how it was before now you might at times miss a few spots and if you miss a few spots it's okay okay now it's time for me to go ahead and install my wig onto my head uh, before I do this I always 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 use this wig cap this wig cap the color of it matches my skin tone perfectly I never go without it when I um, wear my wigs uh, I would suggest that you guys find a wig cap that matches closely to your skin tone because this is going to even make this is going to make your lace frontal or lace closure even looks even more realistic so once I do that I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig onto my head and as you guys can see the lace on the frontal looks very natural looking it looks it matches closely to my skin complexion and as you guys can see you do not see any more black dots or black knots okay so i really hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tutorial now i'm going to get get into the initial review on this hair i just wanted to give you guys uh my initial thoughts and my experience while wearing the hair for the past couple of weeks
hair as a wig i installed all the hair as well as the frontal on a dome cap and created a custom wig unit for myself um as far as like the feel and texture of the hair i love the feel i love the texture of this hair it curls amazingly the fact that i did not have to apply any type of heat to this hair is pretty amazing or how i got these curls was using just flexi rods i used the nairobi foaming lotion as well as some flexi rods to get this look i also bleached as well as curled the very front of the hair as you guys can see uh this hair has somewhat of like a brownish burgundy reddish highlights in the front um i just wanted just a little bit of color with this hair and be bleaching it and then i actually i think i use some adore color to get the highlights in the hair now the hair took very well to bleaching as well as coloring if i still have the video clip i will um insert it so you guys can kind of see like the process of me coloring as well as bleaching the hair but i didn't have any issues with that um i did experience a little bit of shedding once i washed out the bleach as well as the uh, color with this hair now after i've colored it bleach it and colored it um do i experience any type of tangling and shedding um i really don't experience uh too much shedding but i do experience a little bit of tangling throughout the hair uh i will probably try to see if i can go ahead and fix it, it might be just the fact that I did apply bleach as well as color to the hair so I'm gonna have to go in and do some type of like deep treatment to restore or revive the hair. take uh very well to heat does it curl or straighten very well um it does straighten i did go in and straighten uh a section of the hair just to see if the hair would take great to heat i didn't have any issues with it i really can't go into detail because uh the way that i styled this wig was using flexi rods i didn't apply heat to the hair so overall do i like the hair i mean i do like the hair i just don't like the uh tangling that i get with the hair uh i will get, definitely come back and do do a one month review to let you guys know did, do i experience or still experience the uh tangling with this hair um overall right now i would give this uh hair a seven out of ten um if you guys are interested in stallion limbs um hair i will give you guys all the information down below in the description section if you have any questions or comments or you felt like I didn't go over any uh, something in the video, definitely leave me a comment down below. I try to answer everyone's comments in the uh, comment section. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely click the subscribe button up at the top so you can stay up to date on all my tutorials, reviews, each and everything that I upload on my channel. Uh, channel and make sure you guys click the notification bell so you can get emails each and every time i upload my upload schedule right now is pretty tricky uh i usually try to upload every sunday or every other sunday but sometimes during the week i might upload a, on tuesdays or thursdays so definitely come back and check and see if i uploaded a new video and once again if you guys do not know i am making or i do have a limited time offer right now on my uh custom wig units the custom wig units right now from it actually started june 1st and it will end july 1st and uh you can get a custom wig unit made by me for uh 125 um you could definitely hit me up uh through email or on my website if you guys are interested in a custom wig by me I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.